Okay, the weekend is here. There is rain in the forecast, but knowing the timing matters because it's not going to be a complete washout. So we're going to break all that down for you. 805 webcams. This is Avila Beach. And of course, we have already seen the clouds beginning to roll in after a beautiful start to the day. I was out this morning playing a little golf and it was outstanding. But again, the system is starting to dive to the south here. You can see the cold front on the way. That means initially north coast communities first and north county and then this activity will sweep to the south. But in terms of where the rainfall is right now, it's only getting to the Monterey Bay here. So you can see all the flood watches continue to be active with warnings in Northern California. This system had a lot of potential there. Here, it will not be nearly as powerful, but not to be entirely discounted either. So as we get into nine o'clock tomorrow morning, you can, or tonight, I should say, you can see the rainfall creeping in. And then inside of that, pockets of heavier rainfall rates will occur through the middle of the overnight. Now this is tomorrow morning. You can see the front sweeping through Santa Barbara County. This is Saturday afternoon. It's not raining all day long. Then we see the next opportunities for rain creeping in on Sunday, later Sunday, and especially Monday now. It is looking like it is going to get more significantly wet, and there have been some changes to the forecast moving forward. So through Saturday, we're looking at light amounts to a half for most of the area, half to one inch from slow up into the north coast. Let's take a look here, though, at how this breaks down by hour. Again, middle of the overnight, you can see places like Paso Robles start picking up a little bit of rainfall. By the way, you can see this on our KSBY microclimate weather app. Additionally, the winds start to pick up as well, and we do have a wind advisory in place. Okay, advisories. You can see the wind advisory starting at 8, going to Saturday morning at 6 a.m., 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusting to 35 in the interior, then also at the coast, but not covering all of the area. This is just the initial front as it moves through. And the other thing to note about what's happening here, the forecast has changed into next week. There are more opportunities next week. Right now, you've got temperatures in the low to mid-60s and yeah, the lows this morning were cool, but not as cold as prior mornings with daytime highs, 73 Santinus, 70 San Luis Obispo, so we still did okay. Again, huge area of low pressure, the trough, the bomb cyclone moving through, and now new storms are forming off the Pacific Northwest. Those two have to sweep in. I think this is what's really interesting, this Sunday-Monday system that's going to sweep at the Central Coast in Southern California. There have been some changes to the forecast as the models continue to suggest new outcomes for us. But again, this is more of a significant moisture stream on Monday into Tuesday, and we're going to have to watch that pretty carefully. Some models keep activity going on Wednesday and Thursday as well. So we're really going to have to dial in this forecast next week because it has continued to evolve. Now through seven days, this is from the Weather Prediction Center. They're going to update this, but uh, you got about an inch in the interior, two to three inches out at the coastline. That general range has continued here outside of the first system, which will be lighter. The upcoming systems do have potential. So there you go. You got numbers in the low to mid 60s here. Now down the road, look at the temperatures. Daytime high stay in the 70s. We don't have a 70 across the board. And again, an icon that says rain doesn't mean it's going to rain all day. Details in my story online.